Right, this demonstration I've nicknamed the corset stitch, but it's in fact a variation of the square knot, the famous macrame knot. Now it begins very similar to what I've called the herringbone technique. So instead of having one set of working strands, we have three. Now for my lazy strand, for demonstration purposes, I've used two lengths of beading thread and I'm using a beautiful shell pearl as my bead of choice. So to start, well, I've cut three lengths of beading of satin for this technique. Um, for lengthwise, um, you want the, for the particular bracelet, for example, we're going to use round the wrist once plus six inches on the top and six inches on the bottom, depending on the clasp that we're going to use afterwards. So for working strands, it's three times twice around the wrist, so six lengths left and right. So how we begin, we take one of our strands. We thread it underneath the lazy and we do a single square knot. So we do the left hand side first and then we do the right, like so. And then we just place that out of the way and we pick up our second piece of satin cord. Exactly the same procedure. So we do square knot starting with the left hand side and then the right. again as before we flip that out of the way and pick up our third strand and do exactly the same. So we do a half square knot on the left hand side and a half square knot on the right hand side like so. Okay and then we bring all three knots together and we do a, another set of square knots which will become our first herringbone. So to do this, we start with the top set of two threads. We bring them down over the second two and we tie a square knot left and right. And we don't pull too tight because we want to form a nice shape at the top. So in fact, we're caging knots that we've already made, which is part of the herringbone technique. So that's the first set. We take the next set of two, we drop them down and we tie a square knot. So again, left and right. So left, not pulling too tight, to keep that shape. And the right. And then last set of two. So that has become now our first set of three, in effect, herringbone weave. And this is where the corset weave starts. So we bring up our first bead. We take the first set of two threads at the top. As before, we bring them down, but this time we're going to be caging the bead. So with a full square knot, the left and the right. And normally when you're doing the herringbone technique, you would then take the next set of two and then the third set of two. But this time to, to, to get that uh, formation of the corset, We've tied the first square knot, we bring up the next bead, next set of two, next bead, next set of two, At the moment, they look like little peas in a pod. So if you've got that sort of shape, then you know you're, on, you're going in the right direction. Next bead, next set of two. Next bead, next set of two. bead and you just continue this until you get to the required length of your bracelet. Uh, this particular technique looks wonderful if you if you make a long necklace, particularly a lariat necklace, it looks absolutely stunning. So what we'll do now is we'll, um, we'll, we'll say that we, for demonstration purposes that we've come to the end of our ne necklace and we need to replicate the set of three herringbone at the top of the piece. So that we just bring down the next set of two
and then the last set of two. Like so. And if you remember at the beginning of the bracelet, we did a set of three square knots. So we'll do those, we'll do the set of three. Symmetry is the key for this particular technique. So that's the first set. Second set. And lastly, our third set. One, two. Okay, so there we've got our corset weave. And to show you how the corset weave got its name, will become revealed when we take it off of the board and we hold it out to the camera and you get that corset weave shape. So you've got it on one side and as I said, if you have a long lariat necklace, it looks absolutely beautiful. And that is your corset weave square knot macrame technique.